Hey guys, what is going on? Rodrigo here with the Noobs, and today I'm taking another look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and just having some fun with what is really a timeless title in the Call of Duty franchise, and asking the question, is it better than COD Black Ops Cold War? Firstly, it's worth reminding ourselves that while it feels like a lifetime since Modern Warfare was released, it actually only came out in October 2019, so we're still not yet two years into the game's existence. Inevitably, with the way the Call of Duty franchise works, however, typically with a new title every year, it was unfortunate that Modern Warfare fell down the pecking order in terms of new development once Black Ops Cold War hit the shelves just over a year later in November 2020. But what is it about Modern Warfare that makes it such a good game? You could argue it's the maps, whereby we have a mix of newly created as well as old classics from Call of Duty titles gone by, such as the incredibly fun Crash, with the Crash Chinook as the centerpiece. Or could it be things like the mechanics, whereby we are able to change the fire rate on our weapons and mount corners to surprise our enemies. I think what we made Modern Warfare so successful as well as being loved by the majority of the community, was that balance of bringing consistent new content into the game while mixing in classic elements of older COD titles, whether that was the maps, the weapons, or simply the mechanics of what made Call of Duty such a successful franchise. I made a video a few months ago when I asked the question, is Modern Warfare dead? And as part of that, we took a look at the average player count which at the time was around 2 million. For a game that has been superseded by an apparently newer, shinier model, that's quite an incredible number. Inevitably, when you look at a game like this, which is part of such a long and established franchise, you can't help compare it to the most recent version, which in the case of Call of Duty is of course Black Ops Cold War. Now, we do a lot of content on Cold War, and it's a really fun game. But I think the biggest difference is the attention to detail. For example, in Modern Warfare you can mount your weapon, as I mentioned, to something like a railing or a concrete bollard to give your aim more stability. And you can also mount the corner of a wall to quickly lean round and surprise your enemy. So why can't I do this in Cold War? Was this such a bad feature that they thought it better not to include it in the latest title? The same could be said about the point mentioned earlier as well, the ability to change the fire rate on your weapon. Again, it's a small feature and doesn't really matter that much in the grand scheme of things. What it absolutely does do is immerse you into the game, to give you that feeling of control over your operator, something that I feel Cold War doesn't really do all that well. Modern Warfare, of course, does not feature zombies, which I think is fine. Although I really enjoy zombies as a mode, it is perhaps that omission of it from every other title that makes you miss it, and want to play it more when it does come as part of the newest title. I also think the game itself doesn't need a mode like zombies to provide enough content to players. When you look at Cold War however, there's a pretty strong argument to suggest that that game needs zombies. The Outbreak mode in Cold War gets a lot of attention from developers, pretty much on par with multiplayer, and so to take that away from the game would leave it looking quite bare. In addition, there's a growing library of standalone zombies maps such as Firebase C and the soon to be released Mauer the Totem. Modern Warfare can easily stand alone, there are so many different game modes, maps and ways of playing the game. Two modes that are my go-to on Modern Warfare are Cyber Attack, whereby both teams can plant the bomb, and you can revive your downed teammates, and also Demolition, where you protect two bomb sites and respawn. So it's kind of a neat variation on the classic search and destroy. The game does get the odd bit of attention from developers even now, however, and recently a couple of multiplayer maps were added, namely Alrab Airbase as well as Drainage but it has been a bit of a rough time for avid players of the game, given its alignment to Warzone, in that there has been a lot of complaints from the community that updates to Warzone have been causing various glitches, bugs and general annoyances to the Modern Warfare platform. If you prefer Modern Warfare to Cold War, 
you'd hope that this recent update, albeit relatively minor, does mean that further updates could still come in the future. So in summary, is Modern Warfare better than Cold War? It can't possibly be stated either way as fact. And of course, with anything like this, it's all down to opinion. If we look at the core mode of the game side by side, i.e. multiplayer, for me, Modern Warfare is better than Cold War by quite a considerable distance. But when you look at the game as a whole, and everything that Zombies does bring to Cold War, then the comparison gets a lot closer. I still think on the whole though that Modern Warfare was just an absolute dream of a first person shooter. And it's a shame that it doesn't get that attention anymore from developers, despite the fact that it's not really that old. But what do you think? Are you still playing Modern Warfare alongside Cold War? Are you fully into Cold War now, or have you taken a break altogether from the Call of Duty franchise? Drop your comments down below and let me know what you think. Take care guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.